and we just travel around the country as a group and we have like town hall meetings where we talk. And I think that just by doing that, it will have an audience that is as diverse as the people who are on, on the panel. And then we just sit down and talk and we let our hearts open. So we're not concerned about, well, did I use the wrong word or did I say it the wrong way? All of that political correctness stuff will be thrown out so for the moment so that we sure. can be honest with each other. Sure, well, that's all done to stifle real debate and to make everybody so scared of everybody. A new political correctness, this modern thing, is to overwrite what Martin Luther King came out with and was, and was saying it's common sense. Judge people on the character of their deeds, their content of what they do, who they stand for, for what's going on in their heart, soul, and mind, not off what religion or color they are. Now they've taken a liberal movement, turned it on its head, and made it all about what group are you in? So that you cease to be an individual, so you can't interface with other individuals. You've now got to operate as a group, and then you've got to operate with a leader telling you what to do. That's exactly right. And as long as, it's, uh, as, as things are that way, then the same old folks stay in charge. There's one thing, um, Alex, that uh, I, I've been immersed in Venezuela, Hugo Chavez, WikiLeaks, Global Intelligence Files. Um, you know, I, I had another uh, stalker and he was from Texas. And I didn't know until I was into those Global Intelligence Files that Stratford was in Texas. I'm just wondering, I just, you know, I'm just wondering why is it that folk who come to me um, in ways that are un uh, unwanted by me seem to come from Texas. But, um, well, I can tell you, you, Texas has been a just absolute hotbed of clandestine operations. So is New Mexico. And it's because a lot of the drugs are brought in here. Look at Arkansas and, and MENA. I mean, that's yes. one of the big issues. Well, um, I, I, did you talk about, I know you talked about the Malaysian plane, but did you talk about the two sets of war games that were going on? There was uh, Cope Tiger and Cobra Gold. Did you talk about them? Uh, yes, I know. The whole thing's very suspicious. Okay. And, and I, obviously, there's a cover up. Well, you've got a lot of sources. What do you think happened? Well, I don't know what happened, but um, I, I spoke to the former chief of staff, to the former prime minister in Malaysia. And this is what he said. He said that instead of fig trying to figure out um, how this was done, he said we ought to, he's a lawyer as well. He said we need to focus on who is, he said, who is the main question? Who has the motive and the capability to disappear a plane? He reminded me about the satellites, Diego Garcia, the NSA, and the improbability of lose, losing an airplane when you've got war games going on in the region at the, at the beginning before this, the, the disappearance and then after the disappearance. And, um, you know, there are not very many countries that do have that kind of a capability. Now, what he likes to put forward is this notion that the intelligence war that's going on between East and West, between the United States and the Five Eyes, and uh, what China might have, and that the poor people on the plane are being are, are, are being held in the middle of this now uh, the families and the people on the plane are in the middle of this great intelligence war as to who has the capability and who's going to disclose the capability that they have. That's what that's his take on it. That's right. Uh, who brought it down by remote control, which all these planes now have on board. And then it becomes a big, you know, blackmail by some party to reveal all this. Plus, you have a brain heist with all these top scientists on board. Cynthia, uh, we've yes. only got a few minutes left. It's always great to have you. And I hope you'll come back more often. We can take some calls next time. Briefly, 6% approval rating for Congress in some polls, 9 and 10 in others.
almost everybody I know doesn't laugh at me anymore. They don't laugh at you. They say, yeah, we're in trouble. What do you do about it? As there's a total loss of confidence in the system, I don't think the police state's going to be able to protect the establishment. Um, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. And what is going to take is us being together and being able to communicate with one another. That's why your show is so important because you have people on there from all walks of life and therefore you are providing a service for us to be able to communicate no matter where what my background is i feel the same as you on the second amendment i feel the same as you on the bill of rights i feel the same as you on the future of our country i feel the same as you on what our country is currently doing in domestically as well as to the rest of the world so how can we magnify what you are able to bring and to what the you've done cynthia mckinney um folks can check out your facebook official cynthia mckinney thank you so much look forward to talking to you again soon thank you she's awesome leanne mcadoo's report i promise you're gonna get it coming up uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the nsa spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com the nsa has already shut down hundreds of sites and the truth be told they could shut down this operation at any time see the privacy loophole i'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the nsa and fbi spying machine before they close the loophole forever go to privacylockdown.com we the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Hi, folks. Folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. They railed against the crown, another ragtag band declaring independence. They railed against the crown. The enemy's technologies of manipulation are advanced, but if you're aware of how they operate, we can transcend it and have a future together. And as things get worse and worse, people will be looking for solutions. By the way, you've been hearing on the show more and more little excerpts from the 30-minute nightly news. This is really a first-rate nightly news. I mean, it's... it's it, when it goes on television, it's going to be very popular. It's already on some television systems out there. But it's subscriber, prisonplanet.tv, $5.95 a month. 
Get a year membership, you get three months free. 11 people can use the membership simultaneously. PrisonPlanet.tv has been around, I don't know, like 12 years, but now it's really first class. PrisonPlanet.tv. Become a member today. If you let your membership lapse, get another membership. The great reporters, myself, all of it. Here's Leanne McAdoo's report on the streets of Austin, Texas. Uh, yesterday, she shot it yesterday, it aired last night. This is the type of reporting you see every night. Sometimes taped to air, sometimes live, you know, playing you know, the tape clips on the nightly news. And of course, we have expanded live coverage during elections and things like that as well. All the films are online and so much more. And you're supporting the very tip of the spear in free independent media, PrisonPlanet.tv. Here is Leanne McAdoo's report on Obamacare. I'm standing on South Lamar in downtown Austin, right in front of P. Terry's Burger Stand. P. Terry's is a very popular local business. People come here, they flock here because they are hungry for the organic, locally sourced beef and produce. It's non-GMO. They've really become successful on this platform. But in spite of all of that success, P. Terry's and other businesses across the nation are now facing a dilemma. Will they comply with Obamacare, meaning they're going to have to pay these hefty new insurance rates for their employees? and pass the cost on to consumers or will they cut workers hours so that they're only employing part-time workers or will they pay hefty fines for just not providing insurance to their employees at all meanwhile right across the street huge globalist corporations like McDonald's do not have to comply with the rules of Obamacare they can continue providing subpar insurance to their employees and they won't have to pass the cost on to the consumer meaning they can continue to sell you fake plastic hamburgers for a dollar you think that a law is a law like if it's illegal for me to run a red light shouldn't it be illegal for you to run a red light also yeah Yes. So we're in consensus about that. Well, do you think it's right that Obamacare penalties don't apply to big corporations like McDonald's, but across the street at P. Terry's, they're going to have to either pay hefty fines or cut back employee hours? I think that's wrong. Pardon? I think that's wrong. No, that's horrible. I didn't know that. They don't have to comply with the law, meaning they can continue giving their employees really awful health insurance. But ain't the law the law? They have to apply? What will happen if they don't apply with the law to them? Well, nothing's going to happen to them because they've got their buddies uh, in Washington. It's the way it is these days, I guess, right? What are you going to do? What are we going to do? <laughs> vote yeah. and vote with your dollars. Would you pay an extra dollar to eat at McDonald's if you knew that it meant that they were giving their employees better insurance? No. I only eat there because it's a dollar. The money that is spent here, uh, for the most part, stays here uh, with, with the local employees, unlike a company like, say, a Home Depot or a Walmart that uh, collects funds, collects money from the local economy, and then sucks it out. If you have enough money, you can pretty much get away with anything. Yeah. You have, that seems to be the, the rich and the big corporations are definitely getting away with not paying their fair share. Yeah. Uh, anything. Murder. I mean, I've seen people right. have a the lot of money get away with murder. So It's going to be posted up on Infowars.com. And, and, and the issue here is that the big corporations are exempt while they lobby for higher taxes on us. And they're going to keep doing that until we're all destitute if we don't make them go into the same laws. Okay? It's real simple. The full report is up on InfoWars.com and PrisonPunter.com. There'll be more tonight, 7 o'clock Central, at InfoWars Nightly News. We'll be back tomorrow on the radio, Lord willing. Pray for us. You pray for America. Pray for freedom. ETN. Great job of the crew. Thank you all for your support. today. This is Alex Jones for InfoWarsLife.com. The latest in preparedness is now here. An electrically stabilized colloidal silver solution that can be added to both your home cabinet and preparedness pack alike. Concentrated to 30 parts per million. And what has been...